but I'm sure you had experiences where somebody either hinted or said directly to you that science isn't for women. How did you uh, find your way through that? How did you stay a course that kept you through those moments? Well, that's, um, it was the time. And so the, the t when it really hit me was when I um, was taking organic chemistry. And uh, it's supposed to be, if you don't know organic chemistry, it's kind of, it's a flunk out course for kids going to medical school, if nothing else. So it's a hard course. It's a really hard course. And um, I really wanted to do research, and I was acing it. And I really wanted to do research for the professor that was teaching the course. And so I went to ask if I could join his research group, and he said no. And yet he took a student that was getting a C in the course to work for him, a male. And so I went to, um, I went to another organic chemist who, seemed, who was from New York, so I thought maybe he was a little more worldly than I. And he said, Jerry, he didn't take women in his group. He doesn't take women in his group. So that's why you got turned down. And I thought, this is just really strange. Because I had never, I, I just didn't, you know, grew up in a family of all girls and in a beauty shop and then they did the cheerleading thing and all this stuff was just really foreign to me. But then the next term, just by chance, so I was so keen on science that I almost refused to take anything else. I mean, you just had to really push me to take any course outside of the sciences. And you know, a liberal arts, you really should do more than that. So I was looking to see, they said, you've got to take a political science course. So I said, oh, all right. So I went through the directory to see what political science course I could find. And I found this course that was called Sex and Politics. And I said, ooh, that sounds really interesting. And I can get credit for that. That was really early feminism. I mean, feminism didn't get to Kansas till a bit later than some other parts of the country. And so, but it did for this particular political science teacher that taught it. And in that, then, I learned about the prejudice against women in uh, fields that usually were male-dominated. And that was like a light switch that just went off. And from that day, I have been committed to helping other women be successful in science. And that was really...